So, I goofed and it wasn't like a oopsies level goof. It was more of a, well, I guess that's not happening goof. It is round two now of the 2019 Secret Gardener Seed Challenge hosted by Bare Bottom Acres. And I gotta be honest, I'm not doing so good. So I made one huge mistake and I didn't even think about it, but I planted my competition garden. I have, so my garden is a raised bed, as you can see. And unfortunately, because my old garden was in pretty much full shade, partial shade, I had to move it over. Well, unfortunately, the only place where I could get my garden in sun is on a bed of rocks. So, I didn't think about it, but the only place that was available in my garden for me to do this was on that end where I would plant more shallower rooted plants. And, um, yeah, they aren't uh, doing so hot. Unfortunately, I didn't even think about it until it was too late, but as you can see, this tall plant is um, seed number one. So unfortunately, I there's no way that I'm gonna get any fruit because they just, they can't go down. This bed is about, the raised bed's probably about half a foot to a foot tall, and then it's not even filled to the top. So it's got, these roots probably have about like six inches before they hit rock with, with their roots. So there's no way they were gonna do good. But um, even though I uh, obviously did not succeed in growing a lot of the things, um, I can still guess, <laughs> still. <laughs> Seed number one, which obviously was corn, um, I'm gonna guess, um, I'm updating, because unfortunately I did not I kind of panicked last round, and I just kind of was like, it's a type of corn. I'm gonna guess sweet corn, because I don't know. <laughs> but I'm gonna go more into detail this round, and I'm gonna guess that this is a Stowell's evergreen corn. They are just not doing well, which is to be expected. I mean, there's just not enough room for their roots to reach out and actually grow. So seed number two, I guessed was a bean. I originally guessed a scarlet bean. That's what it was. But for this round, I, cause I mean, looking at it, it didn't really look like a scarlet bean now that I'm thinking about it. So I actually guessed because the seeds were kind of like dapple colored. I am going to guess a tongues of fire bean. Seed number three was a squash and I did plant them further over, but unfortunately there is still rock under there. It's growing. I heavily mulched it. It's actually grown in through like it's supposed to, which it's supposed to shade the ground in the Three Sisters method. It shades the ground to prevent loss of moisture. And obviously these leaves are a little small. They're not, it's not doing as well, but so far so good. I'm not getting any um, powdery mildew. It's sending off new shoots. And last time I guessed pumpkin, but I'm actually going to change that guess and I'm going to guess a butternut squash. So I would love to show you um, my seed number four as well as my seed number six and seven, but unfortunately they died. Well, okay, so to be more clear, seed number four and seed number, uh, seed number four and seed number six died um i got them started and they started to grow and then i went on a trip to north carolina to bring my parents their things and i forgot to tell davis to water them for me so they died my guess because i will never know um per my commenters and participants in the comment section recommended um they thought it was a beet. I originally thought Swiss chard. The seeds look so similar. 
and but I thought you know what a lot of homesteaders like beets I've never really had beets so I'm gonna go ahead and switch up my guess and I am guessing a that it is a ruby queen beet seed I won't know until the end now though because they all died and then num seed number six was um, an onion I did see that when they sprouted up. They were definitely onions, and I am going to guess that they were a red Welsh bunching onion. So that was my guess on those. Then going back to seed number five. There's a situation with the with the uh, seed number five. Here are my little tiny pepper plants. So these are obviously very small, and I've got a few going down the line. But I did guess, originally I guessed that these were tomatoes because tomato seeds and pepper seeds look very similar. But I learned the difference between them. So I am going to go ahead and change my guess for seed number five to a pepper. And I, there are so many pepper varieties, uh, but one very popular common one is the mini bell pepper mix. That's like the rainbow colors. So I'm gonna guess that it, this is a mini bell pepper. So the last seed, seed number seven, this one threw me for a loop because I'd never seen this seed before in my life. And something that I neglected to mention in the first video is that it required cold stratification to sprout. I didn't know what cold stratification was, so I did some research. And um, cold stratification is basically where you mimic the overwintering process for certain seeds to be able to germinate in the spring when it gets warm. So the way that you have that the way that you cold stratify seeds is you take a damp napkin or a paper towel and you, you take that and you fold it and you spray it down a little bit or give it some drop, drops of water and you want the four corners to be dry, just the corners, so that way you know it's not too wet. So you take that fold it up, put it inside of a, um, a Ziploc bag or a Tupperware or something, and you lay out your seeds on top of it, and you put it in the fridge. And it has to cold stratify for six to eight weeks. Oopsies, oopsies. And it has to cold stratify for six to eight weeks. So that obviously put me a little bit behind because I was not expecting that. So I put them in the fridge and they chilled for eight weeks. And I, w I mean, from the videos that I watched, they should have germinated in the fridge, it looked like. they someone, someone had it germinate in the fridge. I don't know if that's actually how it's supposed to happen, but I was like, am I waiting for something to happen? So I let it chill for eight weeks, just to be safe. And I took it out and I put it in my window because I was like, maybe it needs a little bit of light to germinate because they said germinate in the Ziploc. And so nothing happened. And then I moved it outside. Maybe it wasn't thinking, maybe it's not warm enough in my house. So I set it outside on the shelf in partial sun because I didn't want to put it in full sun. And I was just afraid. I was just like, this is so nerve wracking. So, so I put it in partial sun, more sun than shade. And three weeks go by and nothing happens. And then finally on the fourth week, I saw them start to germinate. And it said that as soon as you see them germinating, take them out of the bag and put them in a pot. So I did that. I think out of the 20 seeds that I started, I think I got maybe like five to 10 to germinate. So that was definitely a very difficult learning curve. So I, once they germinate, once I saw that they were germinating, I took them out and I stuck them in the pots and nothing happened. Like this, so this, the compost that I put them in, the soil that I potted them up in, I don't think it got hot enough because there are some weeds that grew up in it, into it. But unfortunately, I don't know what I'm looking for. So I don't know what seed, what's weed and what's not. So I have been letting just everything grow. So, I mean, I've got, I'm gonna show you guys, so you guys tell me if you think I actually have something growing. So, my guess, originally I guessed marigold, 
but marigolds don't need to be cold stratified so I went ahead and changed my guess and I went with borage per a lot of my followers recommendation. These are the pots that I planted the germinated seeds not these ones it's this row right here and I'm not sure if it's a weed because this is compost that I cooked myself but this is what's popped up. I mean we have these that popped up but I'm pretty sure these are weeds but these I don't recognize. I don't know if I've had them before and unfortunately I don't know what borage looks like so let me see. So I mean can you, do you, does that look like it could be borage? You guys tell me in the comments because I have never grown borage before. I've never seen borage honestly so I don't know what it looks like, so I don't even know what to look like. So all I can know, I'm, I'm being a very accomplished weed grower here. See, and then this, this I, I'm pretty sure this is definitely a weed. And then that's, I'm pretty sure is also a weed. But these ones all look the same, so maybe I did manage to get them to sprout. But, I mean, please tell me, because I really want to know. <laughs> so, all in all, I would say that I kind of failed at this but that's okay, this is a learning curve. This is only a temporary garden and I made a, I mean, that, that was a pretty serious goof. Um, but I can still guess what the seeds were, even though I probably will not get anything from them. And as for the 2019 Secret Gardener, Secret Gardener Seed Challenge, this is the last video of round two in the playlist. If you did not see the playlist, be sure to click that link down below and go and watch all of the challengers, participants, videos in the order that um, we've kind of planned out. But that link will be down below as well. And he is so rude, oh my gosh, I am sorry. Roosters, roosters, right? <laughs>